What's up everyone, it's Cody here. Well, I've been asked by one of my subscribers about how I look at a company stock to decide whether I should invest in this stock or what price I should buy the stock at. For anyone who's new to my channel, I do read and reply almost all of the comments and put these requests into serious consideration for future topics. So in this video, I'll share with you how to step-by-step -step analyze a stock. Since the airline stock has been taking a nosedive in price, many of you might be concerned buying some cheap airline stocks. So I've used the famous airline stock Boeing as a real example. I'll give you a conclusion at the end of the video, whether I will personally consider buying Boeing stock. And if I will, what price I'm looking at. So if you want to know, remember to stay until the end of the video. If you are interested in this type of topic, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell next to it and change it to all so you will never miss any video. Now let's get right at it. Many of you might have heard about fundamental and technical analysis. Generally speaking, if a trader time horizon is shorter, you will focus more on the technical analysis. And if you are searching for a company that will keep growing for the next 10 to 20 years, you will focus more on the fundamental analysis. Many investors analyze stocks based on their fundamentals, such as their revenue, valuation, and industry trends. But fundamental factors aren't always reflected in the current stock price. On the other hand, technical analysis seeks to predict stock price movement by examining historical data. It helps trader and investor navigate when to enter and exit a trade. Technical analysis helps guide traders to what is most likely to happen given past information. Most investors use both technical and fundamental analysis to make decisions. Let's start with some basic technical analysis. I'll go ahead and share the three most widely used technical indicators among all the traders. The reason why it's very important to share the most widely used technical indicators is because technical analysis itself is a self-fulfilling prophecy. Because investors around the world are predicting or expecting the stock price to react a certain way. So this prediction and expectation comes true simply because one believes it will and the resulting behavior aligned to fulfill these beliefs. Now that we know why technical analysis indicator work, let's get into the first indicator, stock price action. I will use screenshots of technical charts on Boeing stock from tradingviews.com throughout this video. It's free and very user friendly. Anyways, I usually start by clicking on the five year chart and look at the price action within the past five years. As we can see, the stock price took off after January 2017. Within one year, the stock price doubled from 155 to 350. When we are looking at the chart from a technical analysis standpoint, we do not take into account the fundamental of the stock such as revenue, sales, and industry trend. We simply look at the chart and let the price action tell us the story. Without digging into the news, I would guess that some positive news was released around January 2017. And this led the investor believing that the stock price has the potential to keep going up substantially. Stock price is a forward-looking mechanism. Therefore, investors pile up their money in this stock and hope the stock will keep going up to meet the expectation of the positive news. This is just like how my subscriber will smash the like button hoping that Cody will keep bringing useful investing tools. The stock has been bouncing between the channel of 300 and 450 between 2018 and the end of 2019. The stock price then took a nosedive in the beginning of 2020. After looking at the five-year chart, I will click on the one-year chart. The stock price has been hovering between 320 and 380 before the stock took a nosedive in February 2020. If just by looking at the chart alone without watching the news, I would guess that something really catastrophic happened to Boeing. Before I draw this conclusion, I usually take a look at how Boeing's biggest competitor Airbus is doing. As we can see on the Airbus one year chart, the stock chart looks very similar to Boeing. Therefore, I can conclude that this nosedive in stock price is more likely to be an industry-wide event. Because the stock price has been hovering between 320 to 380 for the past year and free fell to 100, that translates to a stock losing around 70% of its value within one month. This is very unusual because of the magnitude of the fall and the amount of time it took. We rarely see this kind of price action on big blue chip stocks. Usually when a fall happens, it will look more like this. Every big fall will be followed by a smaller rebound in between. Next, I will take a look at the three months chart and find out where the short term resistance and support levels are. Resistance in technical analysis is a price level that a rising stock can't seem to overcome. Once a stock reaches its resistance level, it often stalls in reverse. Resistance is caused by heavy selling that overpowers buying. On the other hand, support and support level refers to the price level that an asset does not fall below for a period of time. In technical analysis, the simple support line could be charted by drawing a line along the lowest low for the time period being considered. 
According to the three months chart, our current resistance is around 180 as it's the highest price that the stock rebound to. And we can also argue that $160 is almost another short term resistance as the stock price make multiple attempts to break up but fail to do so. Applying the same techniques to find support levels, we can conclude that 95 to 100 is a very strong short term support levels as the stock stopped dropping at that level and held steady for almost a week without dropping further. The next support level will be around $120 to $125. The stock rebound after the nosedive and stay above this level until now. Now that we understand stock price action and technical analysis, let's look at the second technical indicator 50 day moving average. The 50 day moving average is a popular technical indicator which investors use to analyze price trends. It's simply a security average closing price over the past 50 days. You can go on tradingview.com and add an indicator. Pick the moving average and the default is 9 days moving average. So change it to 50. And don't forget to switch to the one year chart when you're looking at the 50 day moving average. So why does it matter? The 50 day moving average is perceived to be the dividing line between a stock that is technically healthy and one that is not. Also the percentage of stock above their 50 day moving average help determine the overall health of the market. Now that we understand what stock price action and what 50 day moving average are, we will continue this momentum to learn about what 200 day moving average is. After this, I will show you how to put all three indicators to work. The 200 day moving average is arguably one of the most widely used technical indicators that all traders and investors look at. It's used to analyze and identify long term trends. Essentially, it's a line that represents the average closing price for the last 200 days, just like the 50 day moving average. If the price is consistently trading above the 200 day moving average, this can be viewed as an upward trending market. Vice versa is true in the downtrend. The 200 day moving average could be used to identify key levels that have been respected before. Often price will approach and bounce off the 200 day moving average and continue in the direction of the existing trend. Therefore the 200 day moving average can be viewed as dynamic support. Coming back to the 5 year chart for Boeing, we can see that the stock price bounced off the 200 day moving average twice before the stock skyrocket. On the other hand, a 200 day moving average can act as a dynamic resistance. Now that we switch back to the one year chart, if the stock recovery in the short term, 320 will be a key resistant level. It's very likely that the 200 day moving average will be tested multiple times before the stock price breaks out. Once a long term trend is identified, traders often assess the strength of the trend. This is important because the weakening trend can signal a trend reversal and presents the ideal time to exit existing trade. The golden cross is the pattern that is the bullish signal in which the 50 day moving average crossed above the 200 day moving average. The golden cross is a technical chart patterns indicating the potential for a major rally. On the other hand, the death cross appears on the chart when the stock's 50 day moving average crossed below its 200 day moving average. The death cross is a technical chart pattern indicating the potential for a major sell off. Traders and investors combine the 50 day and 200 day moving average together to identify when to enter and exit the trade. Having that said, let's examine Boeing stock with what we learned so far. Boeing's 50 day moving average has been above 200 day moving average since 1984. That's almost 36 years of investors showcasing bullish sentiment on the Boeing stock. However, from the one year chart, we can see that 50 day moving average crossed over 200 day moving average around June 2019. And also the stock fell sharply in February 2020 to the point where it's way below both 50 day and 200 day moving average. When this phenomenon happens, bottom feeders come out and try to pick up the stock really cheap thinking that hey the stock could go back up to the previous high and I will profit a ton. There is no right or wrong but it's not something for myself because it's more like trying to catch a falling knife is relatively risky as we do not know when or where the stock will bottom out. You could think that you got a good deal and the stock just keep dropping. Also there is no clear sign of when the stock will rebound. The example would be Kraft Heinz Co. The stock kept dropping after the accounting scandal came out. The stock is still falling until this day and haven't shown any sign of rebounding. Hope you're all investing carefully in time like this. It's very dangerous to only examine a stock from the technical standpoint. So if you want to learn how I examine Boeing stock from the fundamental analysis standpoint, stay tuned for the next episode. Also if you'd like to learn about how to invest at Warren Buffett in 10 minutes for free, don't forget to check out the link in the description and download it for your future reference. It took me more than 10 hours to compile only the best of the best to a simple 5 step checklist.
If you like video like this, destroy the like button below and subscribe and click the notification bell and change it to all so you will be the first to see my new video. If this is your first time on my channel, my channel is to share about stock investing, personal finance and real estate investing on a weekly basis. And I often update my Instagram and Facebook so you can follow me there. See you next time.